Hey guys, it's me again. We're at the point in the physical properties of common elements activity where the only thing that you don't know is whether each of the substances is malleable or brittle. We can't have you testing that, otherwise you guys would destroy all of our materials. So that's why I'm only gonna do one set of the materials, that way we still have plenty for you guys to test year after year. So we're just gonna go in alphabetical order here and check for malleability or brittleness. Now here, I have my concrete slab. Here, I have my hammer, and we are going to get started. So the first element is going to be the piece of aluminum. This one's a little different than probably what you saw. First of all, notice how I can bend it with my fingers. That's a good sign that it's going to be malleable. It's not breaking, but what's the fun in bending it? So let's hit it with a hammer a few times. So what do you guys think? Is it still gonna be malleable or brittle? Let's find out. Still one piece, it's a little flatter but it's malleable. Make sure you write that down. The next element we're gonna test is carbon. This is a piece of coal. So let's put that here. What do you guys think? Malleable or brittle? Let's find out. One, two, three. Three, two, one. Looks brittle to me. So write that down. Carbon is brittle. The next element we're gonna test is going to be the copper. It's a little piece of copper piping that you might see in plumbing. We're gonna put that there. So what do you guys think? Malleable or brittle? Let's find out. Three, two, one. Look at that. Flattened out pretty well. It didn't break. So this is malleable. Don't forget to write that down, guys. Copper malleable. Now the next item we're going to do is going to be the piece of iron. I think you guys know this one already. We're going to give it a few tries. Three, two, one. That didn't do much of anything. That's because the hammer is iron, just like the little weight here. So it has to be malleable. Something had to flatten this out and make it into this shape. So iron is malleable. Make sure you write that down. Here's a bit of a tough one. How about the lead fishing weight? What do you guys think? Is this gonna be malleable or will this be brittle? There's only one way to find out. Here it goes. Three, two, one. So if you take a look, it flattened out quite a bit, but notice something interesting. Here on the bottom edge, you can see where it seems like it's kind of starting to break a bit. So it is malleable, but since it's so close to the staircase on the periodic table where the metalloids are, 
you can see where it is a tiny bit brittle too. So it's malleable with just a touch of brittleness as well, but we're gonna stick with malleability for the lead. So that leaves us with one more, which is the sulfur. What do you guys think? Malleable or brittle? Okay, let's find out. Three, two, one. <laughs> Look at that, it's gone. So, the sulfur is very brittle and it breaks into a pretty fine powder as well. So now you guys know whether these substances are malleable or brittle. Thanks for watching.